Hey, this is Scott Ford and welcome to another tutorial on Articulate Storyline 360. In this video, we're going to take a look at setting the font for your project. So welcome back. As we looked at in the previous video that was released last Wednesday, if you're not familiar with it, it was the Articulate Storyline tutorial on the interface. And we discovered that the interface in Articulate Storyline 360 is very, very, very similar to the PowerPoint interface. And so if you're an instructional designer or you're an e-learning developer or anything along those lines, you probably hopefully are familiar with PowerPoint. And if you are familiar with PowerPoint, then you kind of got a head start learning how Articulate Storyline 360 works because again, the layouts are very, very similar. So what you see here is not Articulate Storyline. You might be going, well, Scott, um, I thought you were talking about Articulate. Well, I am, I'm gonna get there, trust me. What we have here is a presentation that I'm actually developing for the city of Houston. And I have set specific things for the theme of this PowerPoint. And what we can do is we can go to design. And from our design, we can pick themes. But over here to the far right under variants, if I click the drop down, I can choose colors, which will probably be the topic of the next video that I'll release next week. But here's what we're interested in, which is the fonts. And over here, I can pick a font that I want to use to just use in this presentation. It's, it's right there. Now you can see, let me see here, what we have here is different font choices that we can put into our presentation. For this one, I chose this particular one. We have Century Gothic as the header font, and then we have the Palantino for our body text. So those were set for this presentation. So whenever I create a new slide, I don't have to go back and change the fonts from the default. This becomes the default for this presentation. So you're saying, okay, great, Scott, so about storyline. All right, so <laughs> here we go. Well, we're waiting. This is storyline. This is a brand new window. This is storyline when you first launch it. I want to set the default font in storyline 360 to the same things that I had in the previous PowerPoint. So again, I'm going to go to the design tab. Let me pull up the PowerPoint so you can see the, uh, how they compare. So there is the design tab. There's the design tab. In Storyline, which is up here, I'm gonna go over here to fonts, okay? In the PowerPoint, it was right here under variants and there's the fonts. And this is what the fonts look like from the dropdown in the PowerPoint. Let's see what they looked like in the dropdown for Storyline. Looky, looky, that's what it looks like. So again, very, very, very familiar to the PowerPoint interface. Now I can go in here and pick different fonts and different setups, depending on what I want to use. But let's say I don't see the default fonts that I want to use for my presentation. I can scroll down here to create new theme fonts. Now this is important. If you're working with a customer, for example, that has a style guide, let me pull up my PowerPoint again. And you might have seen when I pulled down fonts, I have a, a theme that I use for straighter line. This is a company I did some work for. When I do work or when I did work for Chevron, they have very specific fonts they use. And so different companies have their style guides that they want to use. And so this is how you can follow their style guides and make life easier for yourself. So we went to fonts, we did the create new fonts, and now we have this window. From here, I can pick what I want. So let me go and I think I use what Century Gothic for my header. Let me scroll up to find it faster. There's Century Gothic. So that's now my heading font. And then for a body font, I used something with a P in it. I think it started with a P, right? Where was it? Yep, there it is. Palento Linotype. And please forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. This is a tutorial on how to use the software, not to have them pronounce the font names. So what I've just done is I've set this themes font to Century Gothic as the header and this font to the body. Now I can give it a special name and you wanna give it a special name, especially if you're following somebody's style guide. So for this one, I might type in, oh, as the style. This is the font theme that I'm going to use 
for work that I do independently as a contractor. So there we go. And I'm going to click Save. And now I'm going to go back over here to Fonts. I'm going to see right here in Custom, this is the fonts that I just created. This is the style that I just created. So let me recap once again. To create your fonts, to create your default fonts for your presentation and storyline, very similar to PowerPoint. You, first of all, you'd probably be starting from home. You go to design, you go to the far right over here, fonts, you click the drop down. You can pick your different fonts here, your different font families and how they want them for headers or body text. If you can't find them, then you go right here to create new theme fonts. You click that and you can create a new theme of fonts right there. You give it a name, always give it a name. You would click save. And now you have your font families set right here that all you have to do is click again, very, very helpful to keep the structure of a presentation all together. So you don't have multiple different fonts floating around, which can be distracting. And it's also very helpful if you're working for a client with a style guide that requires specific fonts. For even more great tutorials and our complete catalog of online courses, please visit us at mrfordsclass.com.